Hi, everybody. Uh, it's Friday night, like June 18th or 19th, 2015. And we're here, almost solstice. We're here at Martha's Vineyard in front of this beautiful painting called Aftermath that was done by our dear friend Peter Sachs. And he is checking it out. He's going to tell us a little bit about kind of what inspired him to make this painting. Hi. Peter. Uh, yeah. I haven't seen it for a while, so it's kind of wonderful to be re. Uh, you can't have it back. Old friend, that's too bad. Yeah, friend. Um, this is one of a series called Aftermath, which suggests that I'm using materials that have somehow survived some event or sequence of things that have occurred over history, both personal and historical, so that I find these things in my own life. They're made up of old fabrics. This one happens to include primarily. Um, African cloth, but also a shirt that was a work shirt from Normandy, handmade with the monogrammed initials of the particular owner. And so it has that very personal sense of being used in the farming community in Normandy, but also with African fabrics, not just in the sense of the cloths, but motifs of animals, because the entire painting is conjuring for me a kind of cross between a continent and a human form as if uh, there was an analogy between an individual and an entire landscape, because this is the landscape from which I came. So there's motifs that are both patterns of handmade lace, suggesting openness to Europe, but also this crude sense of the um, roughness of Africa and these lines of force. Now, this have always sort of given me a feeling of a river, as if the Nile was flowing through the painting and irrigating parts where the animals would congregate. But because it's the Nile, and I've called the painting Osiris, there is a myth that Isis and Osiris, Osiris is associated with the Nile and with the recurrent death of the Nile and then regeneration every year that it floods. And so there was a sense that Osiris dies and is reborn. And one of the myths has his uh, partner Isis go in search of him. And he's being um, killed by the night and by death, and he's being cut up into small pieces. And her job is to gather his limbs together, and so and put them sense, back together. So he's and putting putting back Osiris together is for me a symbol of the work of integration. I mean, many cultures have that. The Jewish mystical tradition of tikkun is that the, all the vessels were shattered at the beginning, and we have to repair them all so that they can hold the light of. Um, well, of the celestial Frank realm. Charlie. And so it's a work of repair, it's a work of retrieval, it's a work of gathering things that are otherwise going to be dispersed and lost. And so for me, it's my personal background, but it's also a tribute to many aspects of the 20th century, including people that have written, people that have suffered. And so all the work that's typed on this work shirt or on these other pieces of material in an old handmade uh, ha a manual typewriter have. Uh, motifs of text that refer to voyages to Africa. There's everything from Edgar Allan Poe's uh, voyage of Arthur Gordon Pym, the narrative of Arthur Gordon Pym, which is a great uh, exploration uh, journey, and uh, pieces of African folklore and mythology and a way of gathering things that are text as well as just texture. So it's a kind of encyclopedic work that's a piece of archaeology as much as just trying to make something that's you know, got to keep the eye. Well, Peter, it's gorgeous. So I have a question for you. Yeah. How does it feel to be such a brilliant painter, yet be the second most talented artistic person in your family? Ah, uh, well, it keeps me working. What do you think I'm going back to work after dinner for? What, is it? what are these texts here? That's part of um, him, of, uh, of Poe's uh, narrative of Arthur Gordon Pym, where he goes out.